this is definitely the coolest heatsink for Raspberry Pi. <laughs> Hi, I'm Matt and this is Not Enough Tech. In my previous video, I've talked about the 52 Pi's uh, ice cooling tower. Now, if you wonder how good it is in actual cooling Raspberry Pi, there is a video in here for you. So you can click through and see what kind of benchmarks you can achieve thanks to this heatsink. In this video, we're going to focus on introducing two modes, first of all, I want to control the LEDs. So I want to be able to uh, light them on and off and change the colors as well. So this is something we're going into mode. And second of all, we're going to introduce a control over the fan itself. I want to be able to change the RPMs and turn off the fan if needed. And all of which is going to be achieved in Node Red. Let's take a look how it works. First of all, let's go over the pinout. As you can see, the power stays the same, so I have 5 volts and ground connectors connected. And also I have two additional cables on pin 23. And this is the RGB driver. And pin 18, and this is driver for the fan. This is where the PWM signal goes. You can use any pin that supports PWM. Let's take off the heatsink and see how I resolve the rest of the issues. At the bottom, you will notice that I've added three RGB LEDs. Now, these are harvested from the LED strip and those are WS2812B. Pay also closer attention to the edge because I use the scissors to trim them as much as possible so the strip wouldn't obscure the airflow. The strip is connected with the usual ground signal and 5 volt supply. At the bottom of the fan I have 2N222 series, this is A331 NPM NPN transistor. It's glued, currently glued in. The base of the transistor is limited by 1 kilo ohm resistor and it's wrapped in a hitch ring. The collector of the transistor is linked to the PCB and uh, connected to the ground and the emitter is uh, linked to the ground to the Raspberry Pi. Now you'll notice that the ground is connected to the other port before the transistor and this is quite important. You can actually steal the uh, 5 volt uh, power supply from the board as well so you don't have to drag another cable. To open up a fan, take a tool, something like that, that you can actually push the bearing and the rod out, use a bit of force uh, to get the fan blades out. It's going to require a bit of force, so don't worry about it. Inside you'll find four LEDs that you have to remove. They're very tiny, it's very easy to remove. Just heat the pads and uh, push them out with the soldering iron. And also this is where you can connect 5 volts for your uh, RGB LEDs. When putting this stuff together, just make sure all cables are aligned nicely and you're not going to snag any cables between the fan and the heatsink itself. If you get any exposed connections, just be extra careful to not to close any shorts. Once you put everything together and correct cables to correct a GPIO pins, it's time to open Node-RED and actually write the driver for both for the RGB LEDs and for the fan itself. So in Node-RED you'll notice that I've created settings and you'll be able to customize a couple of things. So first of all, if you open this and deploy, you'll be able to set your names for the colors. Those are HTML names and you can find the names in here if you click on RGB and the pixel. There is a list of all the colors that you can use uh, in terms of names. Obviously you can use RGB values as well if you want to pick different colors. So how does it work? Every five seconds I'm checking CPU usage and in this case I just send a single message with a core temperature and based on temperature I direct RGBs and RPM speed. So let's take a look at RGBs. 
inside you'll see that there is a, a, a function node which uh, takes the color values that you set and then based on the brackets so for example below 33 i have color one below 35 color two etc etc uh, composes the message and sends that as a message payload to that uh, gpio uh, 18. so this is only for gpio 18 as you can see in the, the description of the node it won't work with any other uh, one so you have to make sure you connected it to gpio 18. now uh, don't set any uh, details in here just fill in how many leds you've got i've got three leds and that's pretty much everything you need in a similar fashion we have control for rpms so pick a pin that has uh, the pwm uh, control so uh, for me it was 23 and then uh, get your speed values now the speed values i've picked are 30 50 and 100 which i listed here i've noticed that my fan wasn't spinning below 30. now i've picked a frequency for it uh, 30 and set the output to pwm output now in my function node i recover that uh, settings and set, set the temperature as my payload and i compare this if the temperature is below 40 i want my fan not to spin and then if the temperature speeds up uh, if the temperature goes up i have the temperature uh, sorry i have a rpm set 30 percent 50 percent and 100 percent for temperatures over 60. that's pretty much everything so guys, if you're interested in modding your ice cooling tower, uh, there is obviously a link in the description of this video for everything that you need to know. As usual guys, I do not have a posting schedule, so if you're interested in my content and would like an update, head to my social media so you would get notified whenever there is a new article. If you want a video notification, you know how YouTube works and I don't have to teach you that. As for now guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.